Hello folks, welcome back to Final Fantasy X and today we're going to be doing the Cloister of Trials in Bevel. So as usual I will also be collecting the secret item that acts as one of the six keys we need to unlock our secret Aeon later on in the game. For now we're just going to head through this door so by uh, gosh make sure you've saved your game at this point because this place is confusing. We're going to get a very very brief concept of what this uh, trials is going to be about we're going to need to move pedestals which will in turn move the platforms that we are standing on so that is basically the unique concept that's going to get us going here and once we've done that we are going to be moving so it's going to ask us to confirm our direction and there's going to be these green arrows on the floor you can see them flashing all over the place and they keep changing direction we need to hit the X button on our PlayStation controller at the right moment to go to the direction that we want to as we approach those arrows so if it sounds confusing then just watch and hopefully things will start to make sense we're going to want to start by heading across to the west so we're going to go past this first green junction here and then turn to the left there See how I had to time that uh, button click perfectly? And now we're going to grab the sphere out of the wall. We've got a Bevel sphere, so we're definitely going to wanting to be grabbing that. And, thank you. Now we're going to push this pedestal out onto the glyph there. And what that's going to do is create a platform for us to stand on. Ah, oh, I missed it. I was supposed to uh, go south then. Uh, which is annoying. Do we still have our sphere? Yeah, actually, you know, we do. Uh, that's it. That's what I wanted to do. It's right, I did it that time, so I wanted to show you again. And now we want to get, get over onto this side, which is the eastern side of that junction. So just beg on a moment while I grab uh, a bit of my coffee. Trust me, you need to uh, try and stay awake while you do these. Uh, right then. So we've got our Bevel Sphere which we're going to stick into the wall here. So just in case there's any confusion, I'm in the section that's completely just opposite the side where we collected the, Bevel, uh, the Bevel Sphere. So still on the same level but just on the opposite side there. Uh, right, that's where are we? Th so we've activated the main walkway now. Uh, so now we can push this back into the centre. And we're going to want to take the only other route that's available to us now. So we're going to head back. We're going to go past the junction that we activated before. And we're going to head down the walkway now. I uh, just want to check here which way we've got to turn. Uh, so we have... Uh, Okay, we want to stay here and turn left. For some reason I've ended up going straight down which is not what I wanted to do. It is actually hard to see some of these glyph levels. So I'm just going to move this back out so we can get going again. Yeah, like I said, I meant to uh, go left. Which now as we're heading back up is going to be right. That's a bit of a weird shot, isn't it? I can't just see anything that I'm doing here. There we go, that's more like it. Uh, so where are we now? So we turn there. Okay, and now we want to turn right, not here, but here. Do 
if you carried on going straight you would have just gone into a circle and there's another glyph sphere here for us to take I say another it's actually our first one isn't it so we're going to throw that into the pedestal over here on this side since it's the empty slot thank you right and once again we're going to create our platform right so we're going to head back out right now turn for us automatically that's it want to go right here and I think we're in the uh, correct place now so we've got a, a pedestal here of which we want to remove the uh, oh no we don't want to remove that one it's this one here the Bevel Sphere if it would be so kind that's the one and uh, we're going to stick that into the recess over here of course and now the ground should materialise, yep over here to the right just grab some more coffee mm. uh, right and now we're going to take the glyph sphere out and we're going to stick this in the newly formed recess over here and that should open the wall giving us even further access to this destruction sphere which as you will know by this point in the game these are used to collect the secret item in each cloister of trials so we're just going to start by sticking this into the pedestal over here along with the bevel sphere over this side which we use to access the destruction sphere and now we're going to go back to where we took the glyph sphere that was on the kind of elongated platform if you remember uh, okay it's going to turn us around fair dues we don't want to go that way that's the way we want to go right and now we need to time this perfectly I'm sure this is where we got the glyph sphere from wasn't it yeah uh, right then now we, we, uh, sorry, what we need to do now is uh, take the destruction sphere out which is the red one thank you and we're going to stick the destruction sphere in just like that you see and watch the magic happen yeah that was good wasn't it uh, right but before we do anything else now we're going to need a second uh, be valve sphere so to get that I, I want to make sure I get this right you see because you screw up here you end up getting lost which we don't want to do uh, we're going to go back onto our platform travel to the intersection the next intersection right Let's hope we're going the right way here. Uh, the answer actually is no, we're not going the right way. This is where we got the destruction sphere from, wasn't it? And it's not where we want to be right now. So we're going to head back on there. Looks like we're going to have to start from the beginning. Oh no, we've gone the wrong bloody way. Oh well. We're just going to have to come back down again, I guess. That's the problem with all these stupid arrows, isn't it? 
No! 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 Let's turn around. Go back. This time we're going to have to go straight down, basically. Right then, that's more like it. And down we go. There we go, did we time that right? I think we did. We should be going straight down now. Yeah, that's more like it. And there should be a Bouval Sphere here for us. Try and avoid the pedestal, we don't want to be going up just yet. Hey, we've got the Bouval Sphere. And we're just going to take this back up now to the next level. <laughs> right, come on, Tidus. This is so confusing, isn't it? But hopefully this is helping you. Here we get our awesome view of Tidus, which means we can't actually see where we're going. Right, we want to go right here. And then we're going to go right again as soon as we reach the next intersection. But this is quite fast. We're going to have to be quick here. Did we do it? Yeah, I think so. Bit of button spam then, but I think we got there. Right then. Uh, okay, there's a platform <laughs> obstructing our path, but I think all we need to do is push the pedestal over and then we'll create another platform. That's pretty obvious that we're going to have to go this way. Hmm. Looks like we're going up now. There's some very strange angles here, it's got to be said, isn't there? There really is. Uh, right then. So now we need to climb the stairs here. We're leaving these walkways and we're going to enter the sphere, or insert sphere rather, just in this recess up here. And over in the treasure chest on the right hand side, once the game kindly gives us access to Tidus again, there should be a HP sphere. Mm, that was weird, wasn't it? Uh, the chest just vanished, leaving a glowing switch. So we're going to stand on the switch. That will make the pedestal appear. We're going to push the pedestal onto the platform over on this side. And that will take us nicely over to the chest here, which is our secret chest. Uh, one of the keys to unlock Anima, along with a pretty awesome weapon for Kimari, which he might want to use. And with all that done and dusted, we can simply head this way now, I think, and we will leave the trials. At least that's the theory. You never know. You never know. <laughs> there we go, look. Inside, maybe? Then what are we standing here for? Hey! You can stuff your taboos! receive the Aeon. They are human souls, imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest.
Yuna! of them. You are to stand trial. <laughs> I expect it will be a fair trial. <laughs> of course it will. Right, so we've got our next Aeon. And I think, I could be wrong, but I think this is the final Aeon that you have to get as part of the story. I could be wrong on that though. Ah, no, don't screw his name up, please. Where's normal? T, there it is. Yeah, I think that's a good opportunity to save the game. As a matter of fact, folks, I think that's a good opportunity to end the episode. So things aren't looking too bright for us now that we've rescued Yuna. So I'm going to say please join me next time and we can find out together what's going to happen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, post a comment, let me know what you guys thought. And if you want to, I'd really appreciate it if you would share this video with your friends. And I will see you next time guys for more Final Fantasy X. Bye for now.